On the last episode of Trade Z's, we managed to trade a hockey card for this picture of a grizzly bear at the Kelowna Farmer's Market. Now we're hoping to trade this today at an upscale pawn shop for something a little better. We've chosen Premier Jewelry and Loans on Braden Road in Kelowna to try and haggle up. It's not your typical pawn shop. It's more upscale, featuring gold, diamonds, and Rolex watches. It's a clean store, and the staff wear uniforms. My name is Martin. How hey, are you Martin, doing? How are you doing? Are you the um, owner here? I am, I am. So, so rumor says anyway. Oh, what yeah? can I do for you? <laughs> what do you guys specialize in? We're predominantly precious metals, diamonds, things like that. Do you trade it all? All the time. Almost everything in here has been bought, sold, or traded by somebody. I got this picture, Martin, I picked up at the Kelowna Farmer's Market, and uh, what I'm trying to do is trade up each episode of this TV segment to something we could donate to charity. Well, I have to admit, we're not art dealers. It's really nice, so it's not something I could use in my store, but my dad is a bit of an art fan, especially for wilderness type stuff, so I think I could probably put something together for you. Martin starts us in the gaming section. Is there something you might be interested in trading for your photo? Uh, well, I'm looking at that PS3 there, I guess, uh, but... Uh... I, I think you're going to have to add a little bit more to the photo to uh, to get the PS3. They're, they're that, pretty yeah. in demand at the moment, 150 bucks, yeah. Yeah, need a few more dollars for that yeah, one. Yeah, okay. um, how about a couple games? Games, yeah, I find they might have kind of a specific appeal to them. It might be harder for me to wheel a deal later on. There are people that only like certain genres of games, so I can understand that that might be a little bit harder to trade out. Uh, we could try a different stock type. It's not like we don't have more than one thing here, so. Martin has been in the pawn business for 17 years, even though it wasn't his first choice as a career. He also serves on the executive board of the BC Pawn Brokers Association and is a spokesperson for the industry, an industry that hasn't always had a good reputation, but one, Martin says, is changing. We've had some troubles over the years, I'll give it that. Now that being said, a lot's changed in the last decade, decade and a half, at least since we've opened. Um, shops have upscaled, the industry has a much better reputation thanks to, you know, television shows that, uh, yeah. you know, like yours that are out there now featuring, yeah. uh, featuring shops like ours, reality TV, yeah. things like that. There's much better legislation of the industry. Guitars are another big part of the business here. Yeah, that's a Fender. Um, it's their entry line. Uh, it's a nice guitar, but it's still $99, which yeah. is a bit more than that painting is worth in my book. So, uh, okay. you know, I think we have to look for a different option I'm personally. asking too much, aren't I? So far, yes, so far. If Martin appears to be a tough nut to crack, I'm going to have to lower my asking price here. We do have rings, gold rings, starting at $29. The only consideration I've got on a ring is that now you've got to worry about sizing and if they like the particular style. Um, what about something a little bit more generic, like a chain or, you know, a, some coins? Coins? Uh, yeah, I've got a selection of coins. I can't do gold, but I've got some silver coins that would probably do what you need. I think I've blown my poker face. I do have a soft spot for coins, and who couldn't like money? These are all sealed. They run about $35. I think we're getting close. I really got my eyes, though, on that one. That is a Perth Mint Edition, one ounce silver. Um, a certificate of authenticity, and it's celebrating the Queen's Golden Jubilee of her ascension from 2002. That is a gorgeous coin. Now, would you make a trade? I'll be honest. I don't usually trade up in value for people, but I mean, since you're running it's, a business here, right? Well, that's yeah. true. Got to make some money, but since it's going for charity, I think we can put that together. Should we shake on it? Alrighty. Deal. Right on.